What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and freeways are in the DNA of Los Angeles with 38 freeways spanning more than 600 miles. But get this, that's only a fraction of the freeways that were supposed to be built in LA. In a special episode brought to you by Culver City Toyota, I want to talk about four freeways that were never built in Los Angeles, also known as LA's Ghost Freeways. Let's get into it. When suburbs began spreading out across Southern California after World War II, officials envisioned a sprawling freeway system to get people around. We did get that, but only to an extent. Big chunks of that system were never built, and that's one reason for the clogged commutes that people face today. Though billions of dollars from Los Angeles and the federal government were spent on our freeways, there were still four main freeways that were never completed. First of all was the Beverly Hills Freeway. In 1964, engineers from San Francisco submitted a final report to the mayor of Beverly Hills to construct a snazzy freeway that would have run under Santa Monica Boulevard. The freeway would have run through Bel Air, Beverly Hills, and West LA. And you can guess how the homeowners of those areas reacted. There was vigorous resistance by the homeowners and other influential figures. And this was one of the first freeway revolts of the 1960s. 1975, any plans for the Beverly Hills Freeway were formally finished when Governor Jerry Brown announced that he was shifting funding from new highway building to expanded transit. Next up was the Laurel Canyon Freeway proposed in 1949. This one would have started at LAX, gone up to the Hollywood Bowl, and then cut north through Laurel Canyon and connected the 101 to the 405 freeways. Now, eventually a couple of miles of this freeway were built in Ladera Heights, Baldwin Hills, right near La Cienega and Slauson. At the time, it was freeway number 170. However, the burgeoning popularity of Laurel Canyon itself as a celebrity enclave in the 1960s doomed the project, and that one was kicked to the turf as well. Another freeway that was never built was the L.A. River Freeway. Now, technically, this freeway is now known as the 710, the Long Beach Freeway, but it was supposed to be much more extensive. The freeway originates at the port of Long Beach and was planned to extend into the central manufacturing district of southeast Los Angeles, then the home of the largest planned industrial district in the world. The purpose of the freeway was to facilitate business and connect recently manufactured goods from that manufacturing district to the export facilities at the port. It was originally planned to run all the way to Pasadena, but instead it cuts off in El Sereno for 4.5 miles, and then it does resume again, oddly enough, in Pasadena. That freeway was also doomed because the construction would have led to destruction of landmark statues and historic homes. The fourth freeway never built was the Whitnall Highway, which would have ran 27 miles from Pacific Palisades right through the San Fernando Valley to the Golden State Freeway. The Whitnall Highway never materialized because of ecological concerns in the Malibu Canyon and also because one of the routes proposed a tunnel built underneath Griffith Park. Wow. So even with all of LA's freeways, this is only a fraction of the freeways that were supposed to be built in Los Angeles. And thank you to Culver City Toyota for letting us know about the four freeways that were never built in Los Angeles, also known as LA's Ghost Freeways. All right, LA, it's been a minute.